Hi, peeps. So, I got a new sketchbook recently. And, you know, I'm showing it to you guys. It's the Pin Gear Sketch Diary um, 70 Sheets. But there's something special about this. Can you guess it? Where on this cover is there something special? Now, if you guess this part, plus create, create and insert your own cover, then you're correct. So today we are going to be drawing in the cover of my sketchbook. Let me just remove this first. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm actually going to rip out a paper from this sketchbook because I have no paper the size to fit in. So I'm just going to rip out one of these pages. Sorry, I'm already ripping pages out of the sketchbook. There we goes, and it's time to draw. Hey guys, um, so as you, as you saw, I'm gonna be drawing and inserting in the cover on my sketchbook, and <laughs> this was actually really fun. I'm not gonna be doing the first page in my sketchbook in this video, because I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So let's talk about what we're drawing. I decided I wanted to draw the character to put on there. So um, I'm making a comic. Um, it's called My Calling From You. It's nowhere near finished. But I'm making a comic. And for the sketchbook cover, I decided to draw the main character of the comic, Izora. And so <laughs> at first I was struggling, but I ended up getting it down and stuff and so i drew izora and this was my first time drawing izora with um color i always drew her in black and white but i already knew the colors and how i wanted her outfit to look if you didn't know this is my third sketchbook third sketchbook yeah so <laughs> um i have two others and i filled sketchbook tours for those um I hope you watch that. I feel like my art improved a little bit because I've been practicing. And this is actually the smallest sketchbook I've ever had. The other ones were like big, giant ones. The first one I got for my birthday with some colored pencils. And the second one I bought at Walmart. Um, actually, it's a couple of days from now. And I've already sketched in some of the pages. The paper's pretty good and marker doesn't bleed through. Um, I haven't sketched on the first page yet. That's another idea, like I said. But, <laughs> back to the artwork. So, I was drawing Gizora, and Gizora is more of a, like, she's, like, very shy, but she, but when you get to know her, she's, like, super bubbly. So, she's doing, like, this, I don't know, she's doing this weird pose and stuff, and I was kind of just having fun with it. Um, I was actually struggling with the hands a bit, like the hand where she's just like throwing it out. I didn't know. It doesn't really look correct. It it doesn't look like a hand. It looks really crazy. But, um, yeah, I was struggling with that hand. Other than that, that was mostly the only thing I struggled with. <laughs> um, I got her body down pretty well because I this is not my first time drawing her and so yeah when I was drawing Izora this is her final design like of her like regular fighting day outfits she has other outfits she wears too but those are not her those are like other like for nighttime in her awakening form but she's went through quite a bit first her name was Mara and she had the sidekick named like Pooh or whatever and she would wear she was wearing a tight crop top. She still had the black thing, but then she was wearing pants and like Air Max shoes. So yeah. The designs changed a lot. I had fun drawing her. Cause like I said, this is my first time drawing her in like color. I, it was it was fun. <laughs> um I feel like I should give more of a backstory on her. She's like 
14, 15, I think she's 15 years old, so yeah, but I'm gonna save the rest for the comic, if y'all could read it, that'd be awesome of y'all, so yeah, I didn't know what facial expression to give her, um, we're not even on that part, but like right now I'm giving her clothes, what was that? I didn't know what facial expression to give her, so I just kind of made her eyes close and stuff. She's like, she's like being free at the moment, so. I was afraid that nobody would act, like I didn't want people to think she was wearing a crop top and a dress, because that's just not how she dresses. She doesn't, she's like, she wouldn't, you wouldn't catch her in a crop top, but she's very fashionable. <laughs> So she likes to make her clothes match and stuff. Now here, when I was doing the outline for the legs, we're not even at that part yet. But we're at the legs right now. Right now they seem like a good, decent size. But when I did the outline, I messed up on them. And so I had to make the bottom like way skinnier than they originally were to, like what, what they originally were to be. So now they look kind of different. <laughs> so yeah. If you're wondering, I like, I already did the sketchbook page. I'm like looking at it right now while I'm talking to you. And so, yeah. When I was drawing this, I almost forgot her necklace. Because there's a very special part of her outfit. It's her gold, gold. It's like her yellow necklace that matches with her leggings. That's very important for certain reasons. So, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm laughing a lot. I think the favorite part of me drawing her was either her hair or just drawing her clothes. I don't know. I feel like I had more fun with the clothes now that I think about it. Because I, I love her outfit. I would totally wear her outfit if I was brave enough to go out like that in public. <laughs> those, um, I don't know, what do you call those? Leggings in that skirt and stuff. It's like super cute. I would totally wear it. So yeah. The black thing, well, you'll see that the part of her outfit that's black is not a corset. It's just, um, it's like an undershirt. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, she's, she was very fun to draw. So, I just, I really didn't do anything. I just drew her on the paper sign my name and then I put sketchbook number three in a box up the top so I didn't even know which sketchbook this is and then um, I'm gonna do the line work but I don't think y'all see that here's me signing my name so I know that this is mine but I think I can just tell from the character see now I'm done with the line art and I'm coloring that thing black I said that wasn't a corset I promise it isn't I don't She's not wearing a corset. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I don't think I am. So for the background, um, you'll see that in a minute. I was having trouble coming up what to do with for the background. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I was just kind of winging it. I didn't plan anything out. All that I planned was I wanted to draw Izora on here with Sketchbook 3 on it. So. I was originally gonna do like a big purple circle around, but that kind of, um, I didn't end up doing that, so. Yeah. Here's me coloring in her little things. Things? I don't know what to call them. Are they socks still, or are they leggings? I don't know. Um, oh yeah. She has a lot of black in her outfit, like her little necklace, the straps are black. Her little undershirt thing black and her shoes are black I like to spread it out but like her main two things like her um, shirt and her skirt are pink well well her skirt is white but it has pink stripes on it so yeah and the other is like kind of an accent color I guess <laughs> oh I actually had a lot of fun shading like um I didn't really shade the hair I mostly shaded just the skin and the clothes I forgot about the hair so yeah I don't, I don't know what to say. I had a little trouble keeping the legs, like, coloring them in a way that they're not patchy. 
and then my pencil went dual, so I had to like, I, I like pause for a minute, clean everything up, and sharpen my colored pencils, because I didn't want them to like, I didn't, I, I need a sharp colored pencil. I can't color with them dual. So I, I sharpened them real quick. I still went out of the lines and the chopping's not chopping. The coloring's choppy, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll redraw her. Yeah, so I, I really like it and I hope y'all are liking it too. Um, here, after I'm done coloring and shading the hair and stuff, I haven't even added the stripes on her skirt yet. I didn't want anything to, well, her skirt, the white didn't match, so I added stripes on it. And it matches much more with her outfit now. That's um, a similar pink to I, what, that I used on her skirt and stuff, it's colored pencil. Here you see me starting, like, after I color this part, you're gonna see me start the background, but then it like cuts off. And that's because um, I accidentally deleted the clip of me doing the background. So the background's going to be done by the time I'm done shading. <laughs> but right now I am shading. And you'll see, fin you'll see finished pictures of this and stuff. But right now I'm shading her. I'm going to pick up the marker. And then everything else is going to get cut off. And except for the pictures. <laughs> so, yeah. One, two, three, come on!